have the best of the best here in the studio, Chef Danielle. She's an instructor at Baltimore International College. Great to have you here. Thank you. Thank You're you. You're the dessert woman. I am. I am. All right, so this is the time for desserts, especially pies. And mm -hmm. you said this is your signature pie. Right. This, and it's unique. What is it? This, call, this pie is called a sweet potato praline pie. It's a twist on your classic uh, sweet potato pie. We took sweet potato pie and mixed it with a pecan pie. Sounds so, really good. Yeah. Like kind yes. of a praline pecan? Yeah, as, it's just like um, the praline candy that you get in um, New Orleans. It's, the, it's very similar to that, so it has a very smooth bottom, and it's very crunchy and sweet on top. Sounds delicious. All right, Absolutely. let's get to it. Cause I'm actually surprised something with that fancy of a title. Not a lot of ingredients. So no, this could be no, something it's you very try simple. Home. It's very simple. Um, we actually um, at the school we have on Thursday nights. It's a food enthusiast class, and I just taught one um, on pies. Actually, on holiday pies. So what we want to do is take our sweet potato, okay, puree, all right, fresh sweet potatoes. We just steam them. We want to take that and put it in a bowl, okay. Then we want to also take our sugar. And mix it right in. It's a lot of sugar, but it how takes much sugar? sugar? It's uh, two cups of sugar. And listen, this is you know you don't worry about making it, you know, low sugar. Or yeah, low fat. I took all the it's calories pies, out the just holidays. for you. <laughs> so, right, then you yeah. We want to mix that together. Combine all of our sugars with the sweet potato puree. See, I would eat just that. Yeah, it's really, really good. <laughs> this is actually a great base for um, if you wanted to just do like a sweetened sweet potato. Okay. Um, a mashed sweet potato just for yeah, the holidays. Sure. What was that? We're adding in cinnamon and nutmeg. Nice. One tablespoon of um, cinnamon to one t um, teaspoon of nutmeg. And when you bake <clears> this, it has to smell delightful. Absolutely. Okay. Now we want to add salt into it. Okay. Salt. Um, Makes things taste sweeter, so that's why it's always in, in um, good, sweetened goods. Oh, it smells really good. <laughs> then right. we want to take our last, our three eggs. Okay. And just mix those in. All righty. So this seems so pretty simple. It's very, very simple. And I know this is your creation, so how much trial and error was involved in getting this um, exactly this right? This is actually my it? grandmom's recipe um, ah. that I took and adapted. Um, of course, her recipe, you know, they didn't use uh, heavy cream. Right. But I use heavy Good cream. Good for you. <laughs> and that's <laughs> what added, that is. Yep, we're adding in a cup of heavy cream. Okay. And then we want to mix just until combined. What's your grandma's name? Uh, Inez. <laughs> Inez. So Danielle was nice enough to give this recipe to us, and we put it on abc2news.com. So later on today, you can check it out and try this at home. See, we want it to be nice and velvety smooth. Okay. And then we want to just take a pre-baked um, pie shell. Gotcha. Right before then, we want to add just a little bit of flour into the mix. How do you know? This is one thing I have trouble with. Is mm -hmm. too much, not enough? Well, actually, so baking is a science, so you always want to make sure that you follow the recipe to the T. Right. Because you, if you don't, your biscuits may come out as scones. Right. <laughs> Which might be okay, but not it if you're expecting okay, biscuits. It might be okay, but not if you want biscuits. Okay. <laughs> and you want to take into, pour it into a pre-baked, I mean, an um, unbaked pie shell. Okay. Yeah, we have about a minute left. Are we okay on time? Mm -hmm. All right, good. I always get stressed out. I want a pie in the end. All right, you heat then that up. We want to heat up a saute pan, put in a little butter. Oh, I didn't even then, think about this. This is why you're the chef. <laughs> I'm the person who sits there and asks you questions. Then we just want to let it melt just a little. Okay. And then we want to take and put our pecans in. Lovely, okay. Stir that just up. Stirring it up just a little. And then what about this? And then we're putting in our brown sugar once it sautés. Okay. Just a little. All right, let's get the final product so everybody can see what this looks like at All home. All right, when they we try just want to sauté it a little bit. Okay. And then right out of our oven. All right, here we go. This is the magic. Oh, it looks amazing. And it does look crunchy. Fresh baked pie. Danielle, that's gorgeous. Thanks for coming in. Thank you Danielle so much. Danielle is with Baltimore International College, chef instructor, dessert extraordinaire. Great to see you. We Thank called you. each other Thank to see you. what we were wearing today. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. We're going to eat some pie.